The world is evolving at an extremely rapid pace. In order to keep up, many enterprises are transitioning towards digitalization. The Department of Science and Technology recognizes that innovating to adapt to these changes is crucial to optimize processes and increase productivity. The DOST Project Monitoring Information System, or DPMIS, is DOST's response to these challenges as part of the DOST M&E protocol, whose main objective is to harmonize DOST practices for efficient R&D management. As an online system that contains information on DOST programs slash project proposals, funded programs and projects, researchers, the DPMIS facilitates data collection, storage, analysis, and reporting to track and monitor the performance of all programs and projects funded and implemented by the DOST. To access the DPMIS website, go to dpmis.dost.gov.ph. To register to the system, click the Register tab found in the navigation header. Once you're in the registration page, fill in the fields for personal information, educational background, affiliation, programs and projects involved in, and user account details. A confirmation email will be sent to the email address you provided. Click the activation link once to avoid error. A new tab will open showing a message confirming your email activation. Wait for the system administrator to verify your account. Once your account has been verified, you may now log in to the system. To submit a project proposal, click the New button on the proponent dashboard and click Start Submission. Select whether your proposal is an R&D, non-R&D, or startup project in the type of proposal drop-down. Note that the specific time period is allocated per call for proposal. You can visit the DOST and DOST Council websites for announcements regarding the opening of call for proposals. It is important to select the right call for proposal in this step as any proposals not aligned to the priority areas of the selected call for proposal will be automatically disapproved. Each type of proposals have their own corresponding forms that need to be filled in in the succeeding steps. Proceed to step 2 and fill in the basic information of your proposed project. You may refer to the DOST Form 2 for R&D and startup projects or DOST Form 3 for non-R&D projects found in the DPMIS website or DOST Council website for the necessary fields and guidelines. Step 3 requires you to prepare your project's line item budget. Each proposal requires an agency counterpart fund. To add the counterpart agency, click the Add Counterpart button and select the agency in the drop-down. After adding the counterpart agency, provide the LIB item such as personnel services, maintenance and other operating expenses, and capital outlay. To add the DOST fund, Fill in the necessary fields and choose DOST under the Funding Agency drop-down. To add the counterpart fund, fill in the necessary fields and select the counterpart agency that you added at the top portion. For multi-year funding, check the Add Year button to create a new LIB. Step 4. Add your initial project staff by clicking the Add a new project team button and fill in the required fields. If a DOST researcher ID is available, type in this detail in the corresponding field and this will automatically reflect the project staff details. Step 5. This step requires you to upload the supplementary files. To upload the files, click the Upload a new file button. 
Then, select the supplementary file type and supplementary file and click upload file. Asterisks indicate documents that are required for you to proceed to the next step. For the final step, review your proposal details and attachments. Check and accept the DOS terms and conditions found at the bottom of the form. Afterwards, click the Confirm and Submit Proposal. You will then receive a notification regarding your submission. You can find your submitted proposal in the Under Evaluation button in your dashboard, where it will stay for the duration of the evaluation by DOST. To submit a program proposal, click the New button on the Proponent Dashboard and click Start Submission. Step 1. You are required to select the call for proposal, type of proposal, and proposal classification. The call for proposal is an invitation to submit worthwhile R&D proposals aligned with the priority areas of the Harmonized National Research and Development Agenda for funding. Note that the specific time period is allocated per call for proposal. You can visit the DOST and DOST Council websites for announcements regarding the opening of the call for proposals. It is important to select the right call for proposal in this step as any proposals not aligned to the priority areas of the selected call for proposal will automatically be disapproved. The type of proposal will indicate whether the proposal to be submitted is an R&D, non-R&D, or startup program or project. For any program proposal, a minimum of two component projects is required. Each type of proposal has their own corresponding forms that need to be filled in in the succeeding steps. The proposal classification determines whether the proposal to be submitted is new, resubmitted, or directed proposal. Step 2. Input the basic information about your program proposal. You may refer to the DOST Form 1 found in the DPMIS website or the DOST Council websites for the necessary fields and guidelines. Step 3. Add the component project of your program by clicking the Add Component button. Then, input the component project details. Fill in the required fields for the line item budget of each component project under the program. You may refer to the DOST Form 4 found in the DPMIS website or the DOST Council websites for the necessary fields and guidelines. Step 4. Add your initial project staff by clicking the Add a new project team button and fill in the required fields. If a DOST researcher ID is available, type in this detail in the corresponding field and this will automatically reflect the project staff details. Step 5. This step requires you to upload the supplementary files. To upload the files, click the Upload a new file button. Then, select the supplementary file type and supplementary file and click Upload file. Asterisks indicate documents that are required for you to proceed to the next step. For the final step, review your proposal details and attachments. Check and accept the DOS terms and conditions found at the bottom of the form. Afterwards, click the Confirm and Submit Proposal. You will then receive a notification regarding your submission. You can find your submitted proposal in the Under Evaluation button in your dashboard, where it will stay for the duration of the evaluation by DOST. Register now at dpmis.dost.gov.ph For any inquiries, you may email us at pmis.dost.gov.ph and expect our response from Mondays to Fridays, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m.